Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is another round from the uh, new situation battle that premiered this last week, this time on the uh, Aug side. Uh, I'm with Always Sonic, uh, who is in the Hyakushiki, Demolition Hound in the Mark II, Gundam Maniac and I are in the Rick Diaz's, and our uh, number uh, 5 is a random drop-in. Uh, the team we're fighting against, we managed, we fought in different configurations of our group against theirs just over and over this Friday night, and I think this is like the one we won. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, full credit to all uh, to the, uh, everybody in that group. They were really uh, tough opponents, and we, you know, we had a really good time. So hope they did too, and you know, hopefully we can do it again sometime. But uh, yeah. Um, Aug does have a certain advantage for this because they have, uh, uh, superior mobile suits by a pretty good mile. Hyzak, as you can see from the kind of damage it's doing to me, is not bad, but just, I, the, everything on our team except the Nemo has had its Vulcans buffed recently. Um, I think even the Mark II had its Vulcans buffed sometime soon, and it always had good ones to begin with. Sometime soon, sometime lately. Oh, words. But anyway, um, yeah, so, um, and I don't want to blame our, uh, our, you know, losing on, uh, getting the Titan side. We got it a lot, but we also got the Aug side a couple times, so, you know, it just is, it is a thing. And, let's see, managed to, uh, uh, tag that person, and was not actively trying to, uh, you know, grab the kill from Sonic, just more making sure Sonic stayed alive, because as you can see, his health is really low. Um, they're already, uh, we were thinking about taking a breather, but they are already, uh, respawning up here. They're, you know, like I said, this team very well coordinated and very aggressive, so, and we, we kind of had to just keep up, you know, keep up, uh, the fight as long as we possibly could. Um, one of my, uh, one of the things that, of course, makes this fight hard is it is in the jungle, and, um, that actually is, uh, something that, uh, pushes the Aug's advantage a little bit further, in my opinion, because everything on the Aug team, as I said, has Vulcans. And, you, you know, Vulcans with good damage, good ammo, or both. So, that means that they have a really good tool for picking their opponents out in the in the brush that the Titans overall do not. The Goof Flight type has uh, okay, you know, hand machine guns. The uh, Gym 2 has Vulcans. They're not great Vulcans, they're Vulcans. And that just, you know, makes everything just that much harder. Um, we were uh, discussing where to spawn in at this point. Uh, Demo decided to go for support fire, and I'm trying to remember if we decided to go with him or go back towards the base, because they might have been, uh, you know, pushing that far. But it looks to me like, for the most part, they are occupying the center, so probably we're all going to uh, jump in there. I think that's I think that's the plan. I ran out, I believe I ran out of time for uh, uh, respawn, so that's, you know, once you do that, you're, you're spawning, so... Um... Let's see, yeah, so I just shot Sonic Square in the back. That was that was a dumb. Uh but yeah. Like I said, it is, you know, the Rick DS in particular performs well here, I think, because it has not only the Vulcan phalanx to fall back on, but the beam guns, which also, you know, fire fairly rapidly, do not uh stun uh stun your allies. So that is, you know, two really good tools to, uh, to pick people out of, uh, out of cover. So, and right now I'm just trying to uh, put some uh, damage on the good flight type without exhausting my uh, uh, beam pistols, because, yeah, they are, like I said, really good for uh, just hitting stuff uh, in, in the underbrush there. So, yeah. Um, but we managed to... Uh, managed to uh, take out uh, a couple of things here. We are hanging together. And I've I've said before, you know, the team that hangs better hangs together better uh, tends to be the winning team in GBO2. This is a uh, this is a situation where both teams are almost but uh, not quite equal in terms of 
in terms of cohesion so it comes down to skill and like i said we you know this uh, i'm pretty sure this is our only win for the night so it just uh, you know because I mean, one of the things about Friday night is it is, you know, it's it's a casual get-together. We're talking about various things. We're not really, I'm not at least really as focused as I could be. And as I've mentioned before over the years, talking and playing at the same time is hard. So, which is why I tend not to do that live very much anymore, because I have to be, I have to have a level of focus that I, that, uh, you know, a lot of times feels aspirational at this point in my life, so... And I'm dead, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's just kind of the long and short of it. Uh, just, we're all just having different conversations, and, you know, my brain is jumping a, a dozen different places uh, as I hear people talk about things, because I, you know, ah, because my brain goes on tangents. It's It's one of the reasons I ramble the way I do when I do this. So, yeah, it's just, like, I'm not... I'm not good at focusing when, when I'm talking uh, with other people, which is one of the reasons why a lot of times I, I end up, you know, not performing well in some of the uh, video guest videos I'm in. Because I'm, you know, I'm busy having a conversation and everybody else is playing a game. But, uh, okay, another, uh, another kill there. Yeah, our number five decided to just go off and uh, plant a bomb in the enemy base. I don't think that uh, is going to distract this team. I think they're going to stay fairly together. The fact that, uh, you know, we managed to get down to just a couple of them here, and I don't know whether we spawn staggered them or uh, what, but just, yeah, this is, like I said, this is the most progress we uh, we had f uh, fighting them uh, the whole evening. So after this, we just goofed around in custom rounds for the rest of the night because, you know, just like, yeah, we, you know, we, we managed to, uh, we managed to get a win. Uh, we're, we're satisfied and that's, that's good. So minute left, the bomb is looking like it will probably go off. Even if it doesn't, we have enough of a lead to win. We just have to not die on mass in the next 45 seconds. So, and that is an assist. I'll take that. Let's see. The bomb's either going to, uh, go off or stop right now. And it went off. So yeah, we are we are going to win this one, but yeah, we're all just kind of pushing now to, I think, to uh, just go after the uh, other members of the uh, team that are going after five. But uh, now that five's gone, yeah, Sonic said fall back. We, you know, fall back. We're going to win. We don't need to win any harder than this. Just don't, you know, don't push it. And he's right. And we're pulling back. And it's going to be a win. So take that. And. Yeah, like I, uh, like I said, just the, this was a, uh, uh, you know, for me, this was a real test of focus. And once I finally got uh, got it right, it was a good time to just go, you know, do goofy stuff. So, yeah, that was a fun round. And I, like I said, hope if uh, the other team is watching this, I hope they had fun too. This, Like I said, this is the only one where they didn't trounce us. They, they uh, uh, seems to be a whole clan and they did a really good job. And... Uh, yeah, I got 7 and 2 and 61k damage, which, yeah, like I said, best I di uh, did all night, so. But that is what the AUG side looks like, and that is going to do it for this Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So, I forget if I mentioned this or not. I think I did, but I got the, uh... I got the die-cast special created model Cast Falls Gundam to go with the regular SCM that I got a while back. And unfortunately, it has a beautiful metallic cherry red uh, finish that, when I opened it up, was sticking to my fingers any time I tried to handle it. Um, this is probably another story I've told before, but, you know, like I said, random brain connections. This is why it's focusing is hard. Um, years ago, I put together a Darth Vader's TIE Fighter model kit, uh, probably back in the early 90s when Star when there was that Star Wars resurgence was just starting, and my in my dad's modeling supplies because he uh, used to put together models as well. There was a really a really pretty shade of silver, probably close to the uh, uh, to me a flat aluminum somewhere in there, but he was always uh, the the label said it was supposed to be cherry red. And that was, you know, so he wound up not using it because the cherry red is what he wanted. 
so I did not, I was impatient. I was too impatient to be doing old fashioned glue and paint models, which were the only kind of models at that point because I'm old. And, or at least the only kind I knew of because there was not a lot of gunpla around at that point in my life. And I put the silver paint on, it touched the glue, and the whole thing turned red. Apparently the paint needed to be thinned or otherwise diluted in some way for the red to happen. And it was the most beautiful metallic red I had ever seen, very similar to what's on this Gundam I'm talking about, or ostensibly was talking about. And it was exactly what I did not want on that TIE Fighter, so yeah, that, was, that just did not... Uh, that did not work out, and I never did find a good way to use that paint either. <laughs>